2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so let me know when you are able to see my screen. I just shared my desktop, so you should be able to see my desktop now. So we'll we'll be using chat window for uh, for the answers, uh, so that I can uh, quickly um, see that. So. So let me know if you are able to see my desktop. So you can respond in the chat window if you are able to see. Okay, thank you. I see one response. So uh, let's make the class interactive. So I'll be asking questions, uh, uh, questions in the middle, so that you can respond in the chat window. So that will ensure that uh, the course is interactive, and uh, I also feel that uh, people are uh, active listening to the class. So that way we can we can make make the class more engaged and uh, interactive class. So let me open the course uh, content document which I have. So so in case if you don't have, you can drop a mail to training at H2K Infosys. Uh, training at H2K Infosys. They will be sharing this document with you. So let me open let me open the course document. So uh, before starting the course, um, as I already introduced in the demo class, so my name is Meghnath, uh, Meghnath. So I have around eight and a half years of IT industry experience, and uh, I have been taking online uh, classes for the past four to six years, and I uh, have taken numerous trainings for Australian and US students as well. So my key technical skills include HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SQL Server, C Sharp, ADO.NET, and ASP.NET. So in case if you have any any doubts regarding the course content or anything related to duration or all the details you can talk you can just uh, call this number please make a note of this uh, 770-777-1269 or you can drop a mail to training at h2k infosys team so so keep keep note of these two uh, these two contact details and uh, uh, coming back the details about myself so i worked for companies like accenture uh, cognizant and uh, even i worked for infosys for four years so i have been um, very much passionate for conducting trainings uh, so so i'm here okay so let's get started with the course uh, today we'll see how do we uh, today we'll see a simple uh, c sharp program um, and we don't need any um, visual studio software for today and after today's class, we might need uh, Visual Studio to be installed. Uh, okay. So, how about others? Uh, I see one uh, message uh, saying uh, from Sonal saying like she's not able to hear me. Uh, how about others? You're able to hear me. You're able to hear my voice. Okay. I see response uh, like you're able to hear so one of the students uh, says she's not able to hear so let me give me a, give me a minute Just a second, I'm checking with one of the students who is not able to hear. So, please wait for a minute. Okay. 
ओके आई टोल्ड हेट टू जॉइन बैक द मीटिंग ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टुडे विल 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 सी हाउ टू राइट अ सिंपल सी शार्प प्रोग्राम यूजिंग नोट पैड विल नॉट बी यूजिंग एनी विजुअल स्टूडियो सो आई बी सेंडिंग द लिंक फॉर इंस्टॉलिंग विजुअल स्टूडियो आफ्टर टू डेज क्लास एंड सो वील ऑल्सो सी वॉट इज डॉट एट फ्रेमवर्क एंड वेयर वी कैन सी इफ डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क इज इंस्टॉल्ड और नॉट एंड वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क एंड वॉट इज विजुअल स्टूडियो and uh, why we need to go for dotnet instead of other technologies and also we'll see what is dotnet framework class library and uh, and what is clr cts msil jt explanation so all these things uh, we we are going to see some of the concepts today and uh, some of the concepts we'll see tomorrow so let's get started so first thing uh, what i want uh, to verify is let's verify whether we have dotnet framework installed in our computer or not so dotnet framework uh, comes with your voyas operating system so i hope all of you are having windows 7 or windows 8 uh, so anyone is having windows xp can you please ping me uh, what is the os you have what is the operating system you have um, just just i want to see uh, from all that and it's like uh, what is the operating system you are using so i got one response uh, windows 8 so i got couple of responses upload so please uh, ping me what windows which version Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows XP or okay. Okay, great. Uh, so I see all of you having uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8. So, so I see all of you are having Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, so that should do. So now let's verify whether uh, let's verify whether we have uh, .NET framework installed or not. To verify that, all of you need to do uh, need to is uh, you need to go to my computer. So so I'll just tell the path where you need to verify. So you have to tell me whether so I I'm not seeing the response from few attendees. So so please uh, please respond to me uh, so that so that I'll understand that uh, you guys are also practicing what I'm saying. So. so what i'm what i am uh, what i'm trying to do is i'm i'm trying to see whether dot net framework is installed or not so remember uh, there is a difference between visual studio and the dot net framework so both are not same dot net framework with which comes with the operating system uh, whereas visual studio is a software which is used for uh, working on dot net so without using visual studio also we can you can write c sharp programs and you can compile them so today we are going to see how to do that without using visual studio so so let me verify so how let me verify whether we have dot net framework installed or not so dot net framework i'm asking about dot net framework not visual studio so i need to go to c colon uh, i need to go to c colon and then i need to go to windows folder and i need to verify in microsoft dot net Microsoft dot net inside that I'll be seeing framework and framework 44 framework 64 so if your computer is 64 bit uh, you might need to look into this framework 64 otherwise you might need to look into framework so can all of you verify whether you have dot net framework uh, in this folder what is the maximum number you have so I have dot net framework 4.0 installed in my computer so can all of you verify in this path c colon windows Microsoft dot net framework inside this i want the response from all of you which is the latest folder you have whether do you have 3.0 or do you have 4.0 v4.0 what is the i mean uh, so so you you need to ping me v4.0 if you have this folder v4.0 so yeah i got one response uh, i need the response like v4.0 if you have this folder i got three responses so all of you please go to this path uh, this is the path where where you can see that the dot net framework is installed or not so the path is c colon windows microsoft dot net v4.0 under framework 64 yeah that's great so so you need to go to this path c colon windows microsoft dot net framework so if someone asks you uh, whether can you please uh, see whether dot net framework is installed or not all you need to do is you need to go to this path c colon windows microsoft dot net framework and the other way to do that is you can verify in programs and features installed programs but anyway let's uh, for for now <coughs> i'm sorry yeah so so 
yeah so the difference between framework and framework 64 folders is that uh, so normally if you have 64 bit uh, windows uh, operating system so you you need to look into framework 64 and if you have normal uh, 32 bit operating system you need to look into framework uh, framework folder so so framework 64 is specifically uh, for 64 bit framework okay so now i am just i am just going to microsoft.net framework and version 4.0 so this one this one will work both in 32 bit as well as 64 bit but if you go to version uh, uh, framework 64 and version 4.0 that will only work in framework 64 okay so now i have selected uh, windows microsoft.net framework and version 4.0 so now anyone not having uh, anyone not having this version 4.0 can you please ping me like you don't have so i i see the response from all of you that 4.0 has been there so uh, that's great so now now what we will do is all of you please open command prompt windows r cmd i hope all of you know how to open command prompt so c colon uh, users uh, you can open command prompt and then just type csc so when you type CSC, CSC is the compiler for C sharp programming. So CSC is the compiler for C sharp programming. So can you please type CSC and see whether what is the output you are getting? I guess most of you will be getting uh, most of you will be getting the output as not recognized command. Can you please try that and tell me what are you getting the same response like this, or are you getting not recognized command? So the moment you type CSC, uh, for me, I'm getting like, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm getting like Visual C Sharp compiler version 4.0, something like this. But for you, you will be getting as not recognized as internal or external command, right? So now, if you want to make sure that, can you please again go to this folder? So go to this folder, Microsoft Framework version 4.0, and inside this folder, you will see something called, um, you will see something called CSC. So so can you please uh, see whether you have this CSC inside this folder? So just type CSC, it will take you for that folder, csc.exe or, or CSC. So you will see the size of the file is 1769. So I repeat again. So I repeat again. Just a second. So go to this folder, uh, C colon Windows Microsoft.net Framework version 4.0 and then and then go to this folder uh, verify that you have this file csc.exe or not so i'm sure all of you will be having the csc.exe so so what yeah the size uh, can differ but yeah so if you have this csc.exe all you need to do is copy this path so c colon windows microsoft.net framework version 4.0 copy this path uh, please listen to me and then after that you can uh, you can try this copy this path and then what you need to do is um, okay yeah so I'll, I'll I'll explain this again so copy the path version 4.0 so copy this complete path right click and copy up to version 4.0 version 4.0 so once you copy this I'll repeat again don't worry if you're not able to follow uh, this step I, I'll repeat again copy the folder path and then start right click on my computer right click on my computer and then right click on my computer and then properties go to advanced system settings advanced system settings and then I repeat again for now please listen to me environment variables and then if you go down little bit you will see something called path you will see path here and click on edit at the end of this what you need to do is you need to paste it right click paste whatever the path you copied and then click on ok I repeat again don't do it now I repeat again please don't do it I, I'll, I'll explain three times so I'm going to explain second time now so copy the path where uh, framework version 4.0 Uh, just a second uh, just a second one of the student is asking me a question so
okay so um, so now I'm I'm repeating for the second time so yes uh, one of the one of the attendees says like uh, she's able to see only CSC and not the EXE so if you want to see the extensions if you want to see the extensions what you need to do is see um, you have to go to organize by default you will not see the extension so if you see here um, for example so this is called file name and this is called after dot whatever you see this is called extension so this is the file name and this is the extension so now by default you will not be seeing the extension what you need to do is if you want to see the extension what you need to do is you need to go you need to click on organize and then go to folder and search options if you want to see the extensions of the files what you need to do is you need to go to organize folder and search options uh, maybe for windows 8 uh, you might not be able to see this option but for windows 7 people uh, they can do this if you if you want to see the extension so click on organize folder and search options and then go to view and you need to uncheck this option hide the extensions for known file types hide the extensions for known file types you need to uncheck this by default this will be checked for you so you need to uncheck this option the moment you uncheck this option and click on OK, and then then you will be able to see the uh, see the extensions like csc.exe. See now, for example, if I go here and uh, folder and search options, if I go to view, if I if I check this option now now I am checking this option. If I check this option, click on apply OK. Now I am not seeing the extensions. See here, I am not seeing uh, I am not seeing cs. I am only seeing csc for this so so even though this is uh, I'm seeing this as csc.exe but this is not the csc.exe file this is csc.exe.config file so if I want to see the extensions for all the files what I need to do is I need to go to organize I need to click on organize I need to click on click on folder and search options and I need to go to view and I need to uncheck this option I need to I need to remove this option remove this uh, option so let me uncheck this option apply ok now I'm seeing when I type CSC here so when I type CSC here I'm able to see csc.exe which is application file ok so this is about uh, how to enable uh, seeing the extension for folders so let's again go back to the topic how do we add in application variables so today uh, it will be a bit confusing don't worry I'll make I'll ensure that uh, you are very clear with what we are discussing today so I'm going to tell again how to configure the path in environment variables so now go to this folder version 4.0 copy this path copy this path and just right click on this copy this path now go to start right click on my computer right click on my computer uh, and then right click on my computer and then properties yes I am recording today's class uh, but we'll uh, uh, yeah I am recording today's class okay so um, just a second uh, one of the students says uh, not able to hear me so for the first class you might see this queries uh, so please bear with me from the next class uh, so Okay, uh, so if you don't have advanced system settings, uh, I guess you are using uh, user, you are using Windows 7, uh, Windows 8. So for those who are seeing Windows 8, I guess they might not see advanced system settings, but there is a way to do that. Uh, so, so for for them, what they can do is uh, what they can do is uh, I'll I'll tell one solution for them uh, for them as well. Okay, for Windows 7, you don't see this, is it? Okay, so how about others are you able to see this when you right click on my computer so right click on this uh, computer and then properties when you click on properties are you seeing this advanced system settings advanced so those who are seeing this advanced system settings click on advanced system settings okay I'm I got only one response like they're able to see advanced system settings how about others uh, they're able to see this advanced system settings option yeah I got a response from Jesse uh, they are able to see that okay okay good 
uh, only from couple of uh, students I'm not I'm getting uh, option like they're not able to see that so don't worry if you're not able to see uh, I'll I'll tell other way as well uh, so now just a second uh, one of the student is not able to uh, just a second uh, for today as I said please bear with me a uh, um, couple of students are having uh, not able to hear the audio sound so so Okay, so one of the students is not able to hear the audio, so please bear me for today. Uh, tomorrow onwards, we'll see this uh, queries less. So I don't want to uh, spend much time. Okay, so so now uh, so I'll again come back to this. So so I'm copy. Uh, I repeat again. I'm copying this folder. Right click on this copy. So and then again go to this. Right click on my computer properties. Click on advanced system settings. If you're not able to see advanced system settings, it's okay. Well, it's okay. No problem. So now what you need to do is click on environment variables. Click on environment variables. So do it now. Uh, do it now along with me. Click on environment variables. And then you need to click little bit down and you need to go to path. So you need to go to this path. So all of you done till here. Uh, all of you done till here you need to click on path don't do anything don't do anything so once you click on this path uh, others who don't have advanced system settings it's okay I'll tell a solution in couple of minutes so click on this path and click on edit click on edit and then put a semicolon at the end if you don't have semicolon at the end put a semicolon at the end I repeat again do not modify this anything uh, do not remove anything which is here uh, so be careful be very careful I'm repeating again so so click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables and then go down little bit in system variables and select click on path click on edit you're not able to see my screen uh, so uh, attendees you're able to see my screen okay okay so click on click on edit and put a semicolon see I'm having a semicolon here if you don't have semicolon at the end put a semicolon please add a semicolon and then paste the path which you copied so paste the path which you copied okay so okay so put a semicolon at the end and then no 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 uh, I think I think uh, you need to yeah so I repeat again so don't copy this one so what I'm saying is what I'm saying is uh, I'm not asking to paste in the chat window so what what is my question is uh, you need to click the path click on edit click on edit I already said uh, I already told you guys to copy the path uh, up to version 4.0 so you would have copied this path whatever you copied uh, so I said to copy whatever you copied uh, you all of you go to watch uh, normal framework only 